hello cancer and welcome back to my channel and this is your november reading from anything spiritual my name is mandy and we're going to shuffle the cards and see what november has in store for you year ahead readings are now out in fact i believe yours may already be out cancer so don't forget to check my channel and see what 2024 has in store for you and the first card out for you, November, is the Wheel of Fortune. Now, remember with the Wheel of Fortune, when things come back down, things come back up round again. So your life is in a bit of a turn in motion at the moment. So however things are for you, and I do feel for some of you, you do feel that things are on a bit of a downer at the moment or have been on a bit of a downer. things are going to become a bit more stable. Your second card out there is the Queen of Pentacles. Now she's a family orientated earth person, grounded, so family is important to her and also so is stability. She's holding on tight to her money there. So Cancer, there could be a situation around you where Yes, you're feeling that things are a bit on a downer, but we have that Wheel of Fortune card to say that your Wheel of Fortune, there's going to be some sort of good turn of events, I feel, for you in November. Something that's going to make you feel a little bit more positive about things. Could be to do with money, could be to do with financial, and it could also be a message or something that comes into you. The next card out there is the Knight of Wands, and he's coming in there quick, raising that wand up in the air. So it seems like a message could be coming into you quite quickly. The Six of Pentacles, money changing hands. So whatever this is that's coming, whatever this idea is, there will be an exchange of money. But you have the money. We have that Queen of Pentacles there telling you that you do have the money. So whatever offer, help, support, idea, message, whatever comes to you, you do have the money there to do some sort of exchange, business, And we've got the Ace of Wands and the Seven of Cups down the bottom here. So this thing is new. Whatever it is that's coming in for you, it's something new that you haven't tried yet. So it could be an idea, could be help, could be support, could be work, could be job, could be anything. But it's something new that hasn't come in and you haven't tried it yet. This is going to help you get a head cancer, okay? So November... This idea, this message is helping you get ahead. It's helping you feel more stable. It's helping you feel more secure. It's going to open the door to other opportunities. It's going to make you realise that there's more out there, okay? So this new beginning leads to other things. But also we have the death card in there. So that you... By introducing these new things, by introducing these opportunities, it means something's coming to an end. So this difficult situation, because look what we've pulled up next to the death card. The burden, carrying a weight. Whatever difficult situation has been happening for you, it looks like things are going to turn in November and you are going to drop this burden so this idea, this message, whatever comes to you in November is going to be positive. It's going to cost you money, but you've got the money for it. It's going to introduce new things. It's going to be the end of the difficult times of the suffering. Because we've got that death card there next to that ten of wands. And you're going to think, why did I not do this before? Why did I not think of this? So whatever comes to you in November, Cancer, do not turn it down because this is really going to help you. This is going to help you drop that burden. This is going to help you get ahead. This is going to help you move forward. You've been feeling like you're climbing a mountain, but you're getting to the top of the mountain now. 
and we've pulled a card to clarify this reading. I'll just knock the camera there. And you've got the Empress there, the Mother card, the Nurture card. This is to do with nurturing, caring. This is to do with your world. Okay, Cancer? So lovely message here for you. Something is coming which is going to turn things around for you. It's going to make your life a lot easier. You're going to drop these burdens. You're going to be able to get ahead, okay? So something's going to help you. So don't turn down any offers or ideas. Whatever comes to you in November, pay attention. Pay attention and listen to ideas. And this is a guardian angel message, a message from your guardian angels and its organisation. And it says, your plans are on target and everything will flow more smoothly if you add a little organisation and discipline to your methods. The key to success is to allow creativity to be gently guided by logic. Be open to asking for help from someone very intellectual or seek out a mentor. So again, it's telling you that you need to be organised, okay? You need to add some sort of discipline to your methods. You need to allow something new to come in. Be open to being gently guided. Be open to asking for help. Something new needs to come in. And for that new thing to come in, it will open more opportunities for you, but it will also help you cope. It will help you drop that load. It will help you move forward. Something good is coming in November, but cancer, you have to let it in. You have to allow it to come in, okay? You have to accept that help. You have to accept that offer. And then you can get ahead. Thank you for watching, Cancer. Don't forget your year ahead videos. And don't forget my sister's channel, Mind's Iron Inspiration. I'll put a link in the description below.